Now to the future of Bed Bath & Beyond. The retailer announcing in an email to customers it's winding down operations. The future of 360 locations plus its sister company Bye Bye Baby is up in the air, as well as what will happen to the more than 14,000 employees. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaquette is taking a look at what kind of impact this will have in Metro Detroit and beyond. The parking lot would normally be full here at Bed Bath & Beyond near 14 Mile Road and Orchard Lake Road in Farmington Hills. But instead, you can see the store has permanently closed and shoppers are showing up to get the bad news. It's an unfamiliar sight at this Bed Bath & Beyond location in Farmington Hills, where customers have always come to buy a variety of household items. But financial problems have now led to closure and an end to what shopper Laura Saperstein calls a personal experience. I can't tell you how disappointed and heartbreaking it is. For Laura and so many others, the store with locations throughout Metro Detroit has been a go-to place for bridal registries and countless other items for families. I have tablecloths for every holiday, all the napkins, every pot and pan, everything in my house. Their Chapter 11 bankruptcy filing on Sunday impacting 360 locations plus 120 Bye Bye Baby stores. The company publicly announcing store closures and inventory being liquidated. This letter also going out to shoppers used to getting those famous coupons, but now being told they can still get deep discounts on a short timeline. The future of 14,000 employees unknown due to more than $5 billion in company debt. The problem is they were trying to pay the debt, so they were paying their suppliers late. So what ended up happening then is suppliers started cutting them off. Watching their collapse has been just watching one thing after another after another. The malls, because there are so few of these anchor stores out there now, are having trouble finding new stores to take their place. The letter states items bought before Wednesday can be returned until May 24th. Sales after Wednesday are final. Gift cards won't be accepted starting May 8th. At another location on Southfield Road in Beverly Hills, a sense of sadness among customers who spent years coming here but realize competition and online shopping have made it increasingly difficult to stay open. I just came to see what was, you know, what, what, what the deals were. So I ended up buying some, some glassware and, and some kitchen uh, utensils. I just hate that it's shutting down. Everybody so I, enjoyed all the coupons too. <laughs> Everybody looked forward to that. I think what really put them out is there are too many stores. There's just too many. We put more information on the Bed Bath & Beyond closures on our website, WXYZ.com. From Farmington Hills, Simon Shaquette, 7 Action News.